Sonya should be here on the central island, but the only place to look is Jabberwock Park. In that case, maybe Sonya's searching there. Would they notice the, that the bomb in the center has changed? And if they would notice that, shouldn't Sonya have spoken up sooner? Oh, it didn't change at all. Alright. I thought, like, when it opened up, it stayed like that. Huh, that weird? That, that weird? Is that English? No. Huh, that's weird. I don't see her anywhere. Hey, Sonya! I'm right here! Too bad! You son of a bitch. Just kidding, it's only me. Yes, indeed! Hajime used to call Sonya, but nothing happened. Nice Pokemon reference. <laughs> you splash. Because she's already gone far away. Huh? <laughs> Just kidding. If you're looking for Sonya, she was walking around near the military base. The military base? The one on the final island? Did she already hear about the bombs? Is that why she went to the final island? But even so, there's no reason for her to be at the military base. Because the bombs we found at the plushie factory. I don't really understand, but I'll head over there after I talk to Chieki. Maybe she went to the base on her own without knowing anything about the bombs. Chieki should be at the third island, alright? Let's go. Okay. Maybe we should keep an eye on Sonya for a bit. Oh, why the fuck did I- yeah, why did I do that? That was stupid. I meant to go to the third island. Hmm, near the music venue, is that it? It- it's Chicky! Near the music venue! Chucky! Chicky near the music- this is the music venue, right, Titty Typhoon? Oh, there we go. Okay. I was like, <laughs> not at the music venue, but near it. Jackie, I've been looking for you. Are you not going to speak? Oh my god. <laughs> for a moment, I thought some shit happened. Don't respond so slowly. It's the bombs. We found the bombs. Hurry over to the plushie factory. Hey, are you listening? This is no time to space out. Ah, oh, you're right. The bombs are bad, right? We gotta go to the plushie factory. I'll head over. Okay, that was weird. At least be a little more nervous. Even in a situation like this, she moves at a snail's pace. Alright, I should hurry over to the final island and meet up with Sonya. That was really weird. That's probably the slowest that Chiaki has ever responded to anything. I don't like that. <laughs> that was, uh, not comfortable at all. So I gotta head to the fucking military base. Yeah. Now, why the fuck would she go to the military base? I can't think of a single reason. Unless she's looking for something to disarm the bomb with? Sonya! There she is. What? What is she doing in a place like this? Yeah, seriously, what are you doing in a place like this? Russell, Russell. Looks like Sonya's digging around in the back of a truck. Hey, what are you doing? Ah! Uh, my! Hajime, please don't start on me. I am concerned. Yeah, I thought my heart was gonna explode. Explode? Anyways, what are you doing here? Weren't you searching the central island? I was, but there was something I needed to confirm here. Never mind that for now, we found them. What did you find? The bombs, obviously. They found the bombs at the plushie factory. Huh? The bombs are at the factory? Let's hurry over to the plushie factory. The others should be there already. Hey, what are you stalling for? If we don't hurry, it'll be too late. You're right. I understand. I shall make my way to this, to there shortly, so please go on without me. Huh? I am sorry. It's gonna be fine. I'll catch up with you soon. Got it. Then I'll start heading over. I don't know what Sonya wants to do, but there's no time to argue about it. I left Sonya for now and decided to go to the plushie factory first. If I was Hajime, I would've fucking walked around the corner and hid. But why is she even at the military base? I just can't- I just can act for later. Anyways, the bombs are the biggest priority. I should head over to the plushie factory. Seriously, why are- what are you doing? You're doing some shady shit. You've been acting real weird lately.
Huh? Huh? Where's Sonia? I told her about the bombs, but she wouldn't listen to me. She said she'd catch up with us later. Huh? Later? Why? Oh, now you're speaking faster. Great job. She should know that now Now isn't the time for that, but... Well... Can I go bring her? Dumbass! Do you really think there's time for that? You fucking dumbass. You're right. We need to stop the bombs first. Alright, let's go. Walk in there, Nagito's just waiting for us with a fucking controller with a goddamn button in his hand. We steeled our nerves and charged into the factory. Oh, wow, yeah, that, mm, those are bombs. The first thing I noticed was a roaring engine of a nearby truck. A truck? Why? Okay. Uh, There's a truck parked in the middle of the factory. A lot of dangerous looking objects are loaded on the back of the truck. Hey, 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 hey! Those things on top of the bed, is that? Damn it! I don't know how powerful they are, or if they have enough power to blow up the entire island, but. If there's oh fuck. If there are that many, it must be extremely powerful. Did he really drive the truck and carry over all these bombs? Damn it. Kazuichi, can you disarm these bombs? You're good at this kind of stuff. Hmm. I thought I could, but it looks like the engine is also acting as a detonator. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Damn it. So why is the engine still running? I'm guessing if the engine turns off, then we're fucked. The bombs are set up so when the engine stops running, the insulator will blow off the trigger and uh, blow off and trigger the explosion. You? I don't care how it's built. Can you disarm it or not? Uh. It's impossible. I don't even have enough time. The main detonator was put inside the bulky metal box and weld shut. Uh. There's no way I can disarm it if I can't get this thing open. So if it's gonna take you a long time, there's fuck. I can't read. So it's gonna take you a long time. That's not good. I mean, it's almost. This is bad. Yeah, noon. Mm. What if we use the tools at the military base? Hey, hey, hey! We don't have time for that. Well, I mean, hopefully that's what Sonya went to the military base for. The truck engine is the detonator, right? Can we just uh, stall for time by adding gasoline? It's no use. The fuel cap has been welded on top too. I'm gonna do it. Then I just drive the truck into the sea. Bastard! You can't do that. You can't even. You don't even have a driver's license. Are you seriously gonna stop me? I thought your family was all about breaking the law. Damn it! But even it, even it's impossible. There's a chain wrapped around the wheel. If we can't disarm the bomb, stall for time, or move the truck, there's nothing we can do. Hey, hey. Hey, check it out. Huh? See? There's some kind of machine on top of the metal box Kazuchi mentioned. Huh? I just called him Kazuchi. It's been so long since I called him Kazuchi. What the fuck? My bad, Kazuichi. Hmm, the machine on top of the metal box? Oh, this. Looks like a card reader. A card reader? Mm. Maybe. We can disarm the bomb if we swipe a keycard. You serious? What? Mm. Wait, that might be possible? Naito wouldn't be able to disarm these bombs if he didn't leave some way to, uh, of doing it, right? Huh? Maybe he never planned to disarm them from the start. Mm. No, I don't think that's it. Naito is probably trying to make us do something here. What do you mean, something? So... Knowing Naito, there's definitely some kind of theme to this, I think. A theme? Hm. The bastard probably would do something messed up like that. All right! Then we gotta find that! We gotta find that! Fucking, I love how many Mechamaros her is, is her own personal hype man. Naito is trying to make us do something here. If that's true, what is he trying to make us do this time? Okay, what's that funky thing in the middle? No, motherfucker. Check, check. No, not the truck. Okay, manufacturing equipment. The machine are stopped, more importantly. It's over there. That's when I came here. Okay. Am I supposed to be looking for something? Okay. That's new. There's a laptop on the on, on the fucking stop conveyor belt. This wasn't here last time I came here, right? How suspicious! Mm, looks suspicious. Might be good if we examine it thoroughly. Yeah, you're right. I swear to God, if Ultra Ego just appears on the screen, I'm gonna lose my shit. As soon as I touched the laptop, some kind of program began running all of a sudden, and almost immediately a video started playing. Hello there. 
Okay. Why, hello, everyone. Great work. So you really found the bombs, huh? Believing in you was completely worth it. N Nagito. Perhaps. It looks like a video message from Nagito. You pissed me a off. A video message. If you've got something to say, he can't say it to our face. Hey, bastard. Just hold on for now. Let's just watch this through the end. Now then. I, I wish it, I wish it would do the voice line if you're gonna fucking start off with a voice. God damn it. Now then. Now that you guys have found the bombs, all you need to do is stop it. To tell you the truth, it's actually not that hard to do. You see, there's a card reader on top of the metal box. As long as you can scan an ebook, it will disarm the bomb. He wants us to scan the ebook of the traitor. Great. Great. Leave it to me. All right, if that's the case, just leave it to me. However, well, it won't work with just any student handbook. If you want to disarm that bomb, you have to use the traitor student handbook. To be honest, I found out who the traitor was after secretly monitoring everyone's activities. But, I was a little annoyed that they never came forward. So, if the thing stays this way, it looks like I lost, right? That's why I'm thinking I should have another battle. So this is gonna be our last chance, traitor. What are you gonna do? Everyone's life depends on you. Whether or not you save them is up to you. Now then, I wonder how this is gonna end. Will the traitor's identity finally be revealed? And with that, the video ended. The Traitor Student Handbook? Don't tell me! So is that. This is also a trap to weed out the traitor. Hey, hey! Is there seriously a traitor? If there is, they should have come forth already. I mean, their lives in danger too, you know? That's true, but. Stop whining and complaining. We should do we should do it one at a time. You don't be stupid. What if someone besides the traitor uses their handbook? Hey. It's really stupid to be fighting over something like this. And so, with an annoyed expression on his face, Jakey walked over to the bombs without saying a word. <laughs> yo, I love when she takes charge. She's like, just shut the fuck up, yo. Took a handbook out of her pocket. Hmm. And without hesitation, swipe the card reader. Biz, you're not the traitor. Mm. Looks like it was wrong. Hey. Who's next? Hey, hey, hey. But what are you doing? If you make a mistake, the bombs might blow up. You think so? But they didn't. Hey! That's just a fluke. Don't act so careless in a situation like this. Anyway. Well, I guess Jackie's not the traitor. Um, of course she wouldn't be the traitor. I don't think the traitor would have swiped their handbook right away like she did. Hmm. So, what are we gonna do? Who wants to try next? Hey, hey, hey! Like I said, don't act so careless. Swiping the wrong card might be safe. Might not be safe. But only once, you know? Huh? Hey. What happened? Well... No, nothing I might just be overthinking it, but the engine somehow sounds... Just then, Kazuichi's face turned pale and he rushed over to the truck. And then as he tilted his head towards the engine, he suddenly shouted. <laughs> it's out of gas! What'd you say? What did you say? Huh? Huh? What's gonna happen if there's no gas? I already told you, it's gonna go BOOM! But it doesn't... But is... But isn't... Ah, fuck. But isn't it too soon? There's still time until Are noon. Are you kidding me? D did Nagito miscalculate it? You serious? Miscalculate? <laughs> uh, if you're gonna set up, at least get your calculations right, damn it. Damn it. At least Monokuma knows how to keep a schedule. Are you hey, serious? can we do anything about it? Is there something we can do? Yeah. Yeah, the only thing we can do. Huh? <laughs> what is it? What do we have to damn do? It. Pray. Are you kidding? You mean the game? <laughs> what? Are you fucking serious? <laughs> then, then we should run. With those words, we started spreading away. And then, it's when it happened. It's alright, it's, all right. it's not a bomb. Huh? All of a sudden, inside the factory began flowing with da dazzling light. Uh huh? What the hell is this? No, seriously, what the fuck is this? God damn it, Komaeda. At least we know Cheeky's not the traitor, holy shit. Looks like they're fireworks. F fireworks While we stood there dumbfounded, the fireworks slowly <laughs> decreased their intensity. And eventually... Oh my! Huh. This means... It wasn't a bomb? Huh? 
What? What the heck? I mean, Nagito said. Um. So it's just as I thought. As you thought. Hey, hey. Hey, everyone, look over there. The laptop. It looks like it's playing another video. Is it Nagito again? Immediately rushed over to the laptop. <laughs> so, were you surprised? Seriously, think about it. Did you really think there were enough bombs to blow up an entire island? Even if there were, a guy like me would never be able to use them. <laughs> you tricky son of a bitch! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> You're a fucking idiot! I love you! You're the best! I hate you! Damn it! So it was all a bluff? Then, the ones with the bomb detonated at the hotel. Probably the only bomb he had. Um. I tell one to the octagon inside the front. He snuck one in his fucking pockets. Really? Are you gonna tell me he took a stick of dynamite? Don't tell me. Is that where he got the bomb? But it definitely wasn't strong enough to blow up an island. Nagito was lying about that. You pissed me off. If he's still watching us from somewhere, if he's not, then how did he have time? Then how did he time his message so perfectly? Mm. Nah, it looks like the video was set to play after the explosion by a wireless signal from the detonator. But why did he have to use a video message? That one—that's uh, the one thing I don't get. Hey, hey. Let's think about that after we watch the whole thing. You're right. Hey. So, how'd it go? Did the traitor come forward? If I if I had to guess, well, I said they didn't, right? So then, which is it? Makes me very happy if you guys could tell me. I'll be at the warehouse next door, waiting for your answer. From there, we'll compare our answers, and I'll let you know who the traitor really is. See you later. The warehouse next door? That's where Nagito is. I won't forgive you. This time... <laughs> shit. I had a hiccup for a moment. This time I'll make sure to beat the crap out of him. Right. Then I'll deliver the final blow and smash his head in with a wrench. Guys, I, I hope you know when you kill someone, you're gonna become the culprit. You're not helping the situation. Restraining him is probably the best idea. Jeez. You bastards, what are you saying? Bastard. You guys can't just beat the shit out of him because I'm the one who's gonna fucking kill him. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Kill him. I don't care. Mm. You guys totally flipped your lids. The lid. <laughs> That's not the time to be calm. We need to stop them. That is an order. You're right. Let us make haste. Motherfucking fireworks! You son of a bitch! You crafty little bastard! What the? Wait, hold up. What are you still doing here? Chicky, I can't believe you actually swiped your card. I mean, it's great that it didn't blow up, but shouldn't you just be more cautious? Well... But isn't it better than letting them explode? Well, that's true. But at least we know for sure that Chiki isn't the traitor. If she was the traitor, she wouldn't have attempted that in the first place. I think. More importantly, we should hurry and catch up with the others, I think. Yeah, you're right. If we leave them alone, they might actually kill Nagito. I'm so happy I chose you for waifu number two. I knew Mikan was gonna die. I knew it. I knew it. I kept looking at her. I'm like, look at the innocent, sweet smile on her face that's gonna end up murdering, murdering fucking Hayako because she keeps making fun of her. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna beat the crap out of him. Hey, I totally know how you feel, but calm down. Shut up. Huh? Everyone's feet came to a grinding halt. Their red, angry, uh, angry faces intensely transformed into a look of caution. Kane, what is it? Huh. Can you hear something? It's coming from the other side of this door. The other side of the door? As I listen carefully, I can make out a, so a soft sound coming from the inside of the warehouse. Music? I want to see planning. Is it another one of Nagito's traps? Maybe the moment we open that door, the real bomb is going to go kaboom. Now then. Alright, let's open it and find out. I like Akane's battle stance. It's pretty cool. Please, do not Akane, it's dangerous. It's fine. I'm hoping it slowly. Look at that battle stance. Just so powerful. No, that's not the problem. It to me. Seriously, it'll be fine. With those words, Akane brushed off everyone's warnings and slowly opened the door to the warehouse. Clatter, clatter, clatter. It's locked? Huh? Uh, it's not opening. Is there something blocking the door? I can barely open it. Hey, hey! 
I knew it, it was a trap. Seriously, just stop it, okay? You? Did I tell you it'll be fine? I just gotta use a little more force. What? What happened to the opening it slowly? Kinda ignored their protest, and with a mighty kick, the door flew open. Watch out! Ah! <laughs> it's gonna blow up! Uh, instinctively, we test our bodies and brace ourselves. From what? Well, I mean from the explosion, but with what? You just stand in front of the door, in front of the explosion, and just clinch? Just clinch your whole body? Like, nah, man, it don't work that way. You're gonna die. You're gonna become, like, two-faced. Huh? Hmm? What is this? What happened? Yeah. Look inside. It sure is dark. Looks like there aren't any lights on. Is Nagito really in here? The inside of the warehouse felt even darker because of our eyes were just used to the bright sunlight outside. With the darkness allowed hum 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 humno? Humno Blair. What the fuck are these words? They're too they're too medium sized for me. Hum humno blared throughout the warehouse at full volume. Hey, do you guys hear something? Yeah, it's really damn loud. Does Nagito like listening to this depressing crap? No, I'm not talking about the music. And as if on cue, it suddenly appeared. Oh shit! Huh? It's on fire! A fearsome blaze suddenly began to dance inside the dark warehouse like fury wings. Like fury? Like fiery wings spreading before Whoa. us. What? What's going on? For now, we must extinguish these flames! Let us hurry and put them out! I swear, like, I swear, man, Nagito's doing some Joker level shit right now. Hey, hey! But how are we supposed to put this fire out? Um, uh, there should be a fire extinguishing supplies inside the factory break room. Perhaps we should use those? Got it. Let's head to the break room. After listening to Sonya, we ran into the factory. Okay. Look for a fire extinguisher. Fire war? Fire war. Did I just say that? Look for a fire extinguisher. Sorry, I saw the crane and I thought it was something else. Alright. Um, oh, there's a camera up there. I never noticed that. The break room is right here, right? Open the door and the Nagito just has a gun. Where's fire extinguisher supplies? This motherfucker. Oh. It's all right here. <laughs> fire extinguisher. Here. Fire grenades? Really? A huge supply of lined up plastic bottles looks like there's uh, some kind of liquid inside of them. You found it! Those are fire grenades! Fire grenades? Yeah, fire, fire grenades is right. Fucking, what the fuck is a fire grenade? The only fire grenade I know is an incendiary. Um. They're basically fire exhaustion goods. Fire, fire, did I say exhaustion? Wow, extinguishing. My bad. When you throw them at fire, the container breaks and the chemicals inside puts it's out the strange. fire. No? But this is strange. The last time I peeked inside the place, I recall seeing other fire extinguishing supplies too. This should be plenty. Let's hurry and go back to the warehouse. We grabbed all the fire grenades and rushed back to the warehouse. And that's when Nagito had a gun. Make sure you don't get too close to the fire. It's dangerous. Take care not to inhale the smoke as well. We should throw the grenades from the door at the same time. Looks like a certain. Oh, uh, what? Looks like the curtain in the back is burning up. We just have to aim for that, right? I'm gonna do it! Alright, let's go! We aimed at the curtain in the back and threw all the fire grenades one after another. Hey, but. Is it just me? Or does it feel like the fire's not going out at all? What if the fire grenades were replaced with fucking. with oil? The curtain absorbed the impact of the thrown grenades, which filled, which fell on the floor and shattered. They were completely ineffective at extinguishing the burning curtain. Does it not seem like the fire is intensifying? If the fire continues to rise, it will inflame the ceiling. This is bad. We've already used up all the fire grenades. But what are we gonna do? All we can do now is pray for rain. Don't be stupid! There's no way it'll conveniently start raining if we pray for it! It's raining? <sighs> is that the fucking sprinkler system? So this is the power of the Japanese 
Sector Bozo. That's not it. It looks like the sprinklers activated. Oh, the sprinklers. They must have detected the smoke and turned on. Water continued to vigorously pour out of the sprinklers. And after a while, the fire in the warehouse was completely extinguished. Question, why the fuck were we worried about the fire regardless? If Nagito was in there and he burned, guess what? We don't have to deal with Nagito anymore and none of us killed them. On top of that, none of us was in the building to begin with. So why do we care? About Monokuma's plush factory? Looks like the fire is out. Um, that's a relief. Uh, the hell? Ah! Man, my merch is drenched. I got splattered with water and now it's soaked. It's so, so wet. Hey, hey. Hey, is it okay to look inside now? Just a minute. Huh? Uh, time out, time out. We can't. Nuh uh, no way. Why can't, why can't we go inside? Hey, um... Smoke and hazardous gas are still spreading throughout the warehouse, so it's gotta ventilate for a while. Well, yeah. Well, I guess you're right. It'll be a problem if we breathe in uh, any lingering smoke. So. So, for the sake of your health, please wait for just a little while. While you're waiting, why don't you check out the Marakumi Theater? I'm sorry, I had to yawn. Why don't you check out the Marakumi Theater I freshly prepared? Really? Aw, oh, come on. Please don't be too long. You're so Everything is a lie. Marakumi doesn't exist. The Marakumi Theater doesn't exist. Everything is fiction. There's no meaning whatsoever. There's no relation. There's no relationship whatsoever. Whosoever. What? Wait. What? Everything was made. Monokuma can't be found anywhere. <laughs> what are you doing here, anyways? Well, kept it short. Yes, indeed. Yes. Now the Monokuma theory is over. I'm sure it's finished ventilating by now. Also, I finally start to feel better. Just because my important merch was ruined doesn't mean I should be depressed over it forever. Whenever I feel depressed, I always ask myself this question. Hold on. Why are your eyes on the front? I got it! So we can move forward. Don't be sad about what's already happened and be positive. Um, we get it already. Jeez. Enough with your bullshit. I'll leave the rest Okay, of you. I'll leave the rest of you guys. And I turned on the lights for you guys too. You might hurt yourselves in the dark. Here. Now now, go ahead. Go right ahead. Ahead. Perhaps is Nagito inside? Hmm. He said he was. Uh, he said he was in his video message, but he probably escaped by now. Huh. There's so much fire and smoke. <sighs> I thought I finally beat the crap out of him this time. Hey, hey. Well, uh, well, fuck. Well, why do? Why don't we go inside and see how things are doing? You. How'd you man? What happened? Well, nothing happened, but I don't know why. My heart is racing. It won't settle down. I'm scared. As if an intense malice is about to stab me. Stab me. Through my whole body. And I can't even budge. Feels like everything was too late. Why do I feel this ang- uh, uh, I was about to say anguish. Why, why, why did I choose that word? I fucked it up. Why do I feel this anxiousness? I'm so anxious. Uh, anxious. Time to, time to go inside the warehouse. Anyways, let's go inside. Hmm. A charred odor permitted. Per, did I say that right? Yeah. Per, permeated. Well, not, my bad, not permitted. Permeated throughout the warehouse, and the air was so heavy that it was hard to breathe. The moment I set foot inside the warehouse, a mixture of bewilderment, anxiety, and fear overtook me at once. Smells. Hmm. Something smells. Hey, hey! It's not me. I am sorry. Uh, I'm terribly sorry. Are you serious? Huh, Miss Sonya? Say it ain't so. Hmm. No, not that. It's like a smell I never smelled before. Like... It was me, uh, well, it makes sense that there's a strange smell when a bunch of different things were burned. Hey, hey! Hey, everyone. Did you know about this, uh... Did you know about the curtain? You mean the curtain that was on fire, right? What do you mean, no? I didn't notice it until the curtain was burning, but there's a space on the other side of it, too. Oh, yeah. You're right. I guess last time we just assumed it was the back wall. Or maybe a large window, or something. Uh, when I looked where Chiki was pointing, 
There was still space beyond the burned, tattered cur- Fuck! I'm sorry, I had to yawn. I had to yawn again. I can't stop yawning. Can't stop, won't stop. There was still space beyond the burned, tattered, tat, tat, tattered, tattered curtain. Thank you, language, English, please. Um. I didn't notice it until the curtain was burned, but there's a space on the other side of it too. Could it be? It might be better if we check it out, right? Can I please check it out then? Oh sure, there we go. I walked towards the burned, tattered curtain with slow, methodical steps. I never experienced such a, a oppressive atmosphere before, and I couldn't help hold my breath. And then, on the other side of the curtain, I saw the true source of the intense malice that 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 has been. F okay, I thought I I thought I read the word wrong, but I did. And then after I read it right, I fucked it up. I saw the true source of the intense malice that I had been feeling. It was Nagito with a gun. Don't fucking tell me. Oh no. Okay. That's That's new. Huh. <laughs> oh, that's really fucked up actually. Oh god. Not only that it's fucked up, but look at his arm. Not the one that's stabbed, but the other one, like, you can see it's fucking, it's like, muscle and shit. Wow. That's, uh, that's overkill. I had no idea what I was looking at. But the time I realized, I was looking at what remains of Nagito Komaeda, the ultimate lucky student. Time had already stopped, 